Hello friends, today we are going to perform an experiment to determine the temperature coefficient of resistance for platinum using Carey Foster Bridge and Platinum Resistance Thermometer. This experiment is a little bit tricky, so I would advise you to keep patience for next 10 minutes and I am sure you will be able to crack it. So before starting this experiment, you should know the three basic facts. First is that the resistance of platinum wire changes almost linearly with temperature. Thus, we can find its temperature by measuring its resistance. That's why we can call it a thermometer. The next is using a Carey Foster bridge, we can find the difference between two resistances. This is the reason the platinum resistance thermometer is specially constructed for this experiment. Now let us discuss what is the construction of platinum resistance thermometer specially for this experiment. In this thermometer, we have one outer shell in which we have two pairs of copper wires and near the bottom there is one mica sheet or piece. Finally, two terminals of a platinum wires are attached and rolled around this mica sheet and the second pair of wires CC are just connected. In this way, we can understand that the difference of resistance between PP terminal and CC terminal is only of this platinum wire. Just because this wire CC is placed to compensate the effect of the copper wire from terminals PP. That's why these wires are called as copper wires for compensation. So now if we calculate the difference of resistance between PP and CC terminal using Carey Foster bridge, then we will get the resistance of platinum wire. Now let us start the experiment. For experiment, we are basically placing a Carey Foster bridge and a power supply in front of us and here towards right side we have our circuit diagram. Now let us connect the positive of the power supply with middle of the copper strip towards left and the negative of the power supply with the copper strip between the gaps towards right hand side. Now we are taking two equivalent resistance boxes P and Q and connect them with the inner gaps of the Carey Foster bridge. Now you can also notice that the battery and the PQ resistances has also been highlighted in our circuit diagram. In the next step we are going to take this galvanometer and this jockey and we will connect the center of the Carey Foster bridge with the one end of the galvanometer and the other end of the galvanometer is connected with the jockey. So this has also been highlighted. Now we will attach the platinum resistance thermometer with this apparatus. So here is our PRT. The PP terminal contains copper wire and platinum wire and CC terminal contains only copper wire. So first of all we will connect these two PP terminals with the left outer gap of the Carey Foster bridge. In the next step, we will connect the CC terminal with the right outer gap of the Carey Foster bridge. But one thing you should take care that we are also connecting a fractional resistance box in series with this. The role of this resistance box is quite important in this experiment that you will find out in a while. Now we need to calculate the resistance of this platinum wire at three temperatures. To do so, first we will take one thermometer and one beaker full of ice and we can insert our thermometer in the ice beaker, wait for a while so that the temperature of the platinum wire in the thermometer becomes uniform. Now first apply to equal resistances like 5 ohm in each P and Q resistance boxes and switch on the power supply. Now touch the jockey with the bridge wire and you will see some deflection in the galvanometer. Now slide the jockey and find the point where there is no deflection in the galvanometer. This is the stable point. 
and you can measure this as L1 the value of your frictional resistance can change the position of your stable point so in the beginning you can apply an appropriate value of frictional resistance so that you get your stable point around the middle of the bridge wire now in the next step we are going to switch the wires connected to the outer gaps of the carry foster bridge here we switch our thermometer and the cc terminals are now connected towards the left end with the frictional resistance box and the pp terminals are connected towards the right end of the carry foster switch now again we will find the stable point and measure this as l2 so we have finished measurement for one temperature now we can come back to our previous arrangement and repeat the same experiment for water at room temperature so now we will conduct the same experiment first we will do like this and then we will switch the terminals of left and right outer gaps and measure the length l1 and l2 for this as well and similarly we will repeat this same experiment in the case of boiling water so in this way we have uh, gathered the required measurements at three temperatures at freezing point of ice room temperature and at boiling point of water so as we have seen that we have taken three temperatures now we need to calculate the resistance of platinum wire at these three temperatures to do so we have three different methods in the first method we will make a table like this so first we will write the value of frictional resistance we have chosen for ice water for water at room temperature and for boiling water in the next two columns we will write the values of l1 and l2 and then by applying this formula we will find out the values of r1 r2 and r3 in this formula our this capital r is the resistance of the platinum wire small r is the resistance applied through the fractional resistance box but in this part we need this quantity k and k is the resistance per unit length of the wire of the meter bridge but this value is not known to us to know this value you will perform the experiment which we have discussed in our video dedicated to carry foster bridge but in case you don't want to perform an experiment for this value k in that case we will switch to method 2 earlier at a single temperature we performed this experiment for one frictional resistance but now we can perform the same ex experiment with two different frictional resistances r1 and r2 for r1 let we obtained l1 and l2 and for r2 we obtained l1 dash and l2 dash so finally to obtain the value of r1 we will use this formula and without getting into the value of k we can find the value of resistance r1 so this is the second method through which we can find the value of r1 r2 and r3 but in this case for each step we will perform this experiment for two frictional resistances but now there is another method as well consider if you don't want to do all this calculation to skip all these calculations we have to perform this experiment at each temperature with at least four frictional resistances for different frictional resistances you will get different values of l1 different values of l2s and then finally you will get some value of l2 minus l1 now we will make a plot of it in which along x axis we will take the frictional resistance and along y axis we will take the value of l2 minus l1 and for a single temperature we will plot this value we will find a curve like this now the main point is what is the significance of this curve as we have seen the formula for the calculation of resistance of platinum wire is this and we can take the condition that when l2 minus l1 is zero in that case the resistance of platinum wire is equal to the resistance of frictional resistance 
so in this way we will find the intercept of this line with the x axis and call it as the resistance of the platinum resistance wire we will repeat the same process for the two more temperatures so in this way for t1 t2 and t3 we will find the value of r1 r2 and r3 now finally using any of these three methods we have calculated the value of resistance r1 r2 and r3 for temperatures t1 t2 and t3 now we know that the relation between resistance temperature and the temperature coefficient of resistance is like this here alpha is your temperature coefficient of resistance as we have calculated three value of resistances at three temperatures so we can form these three equations now we can use any two equations out of these and eliminate the value of r node and find out the value of alpha so in this way we can choose three combination of equations we obtain three values of temperature coefficient of resistance and finally to obtain the accurate value we average them out and reach to the final value of temperature coefficient of resistance so in this way we have obtained our required value but now from using some standard literature we can find that the value of alpha for platinum is around 3.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 per degree celsius therefore we can also find the percentage error in our results in this way this experiment can be performed the development of such a content takes a lot of time so if you like this content then you can also support us by donating on the links given in the description thanks for watching if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends have a good day